Nais kong maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At mag-iisa sa gawaing makajos at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Tara na! Viva Pater Dolorosa Virgo de la Pieta Viva Pater Dolorosa De la Pieta Ora pro nobis Sa OLS Ituloy ang saya Sa hirap man at pandemia Pagpapanatiyay ay makakamtan Kapit lang sa Diyos ng lubusan Salamat po, O Diyos, Ama, sa pagpapala mong lubos. Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus na iyong anak kami tinubos. Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay. At kain ng Maria, ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga. Viva ba? Please all stand for the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers the, the healing and good health of Father Ramon Manalo, SSP, Father Arthur Palisada, SSP, Father Joel Baguna, SSP, Father Joseph Havilio, SSP, Father Armand Tangi, SSP, Father Pete Barisoro, SSP, Father Resti de la Peña, SSP, Manahan Peruel, Louis and Clem, Lourdes Clem, Patrice Ancese, Letlet Salcedo, Baby Joaquin, Anita Faye Viador, Rene and Lorenzo, and Gracia Piches. Special intentions of birthday, birthday thanksgiving of Joseph Ansai and Engineer Joseph Flora, Dominador Senior Guzman Senior, Nancy Tan and family, Peruel de la Peña Santos Sildes, Alegre families, Alay Sadambana contributors, Marisa Aboitis, Feli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Okodaira, Jello and Elaine, Paolo, Marlo, Orlando, Jean Flora, Patrice Ann Espulgar, Maria Jenilyn Peralta, Noemi Trinidad, BJRA, Michelle Cancino, and Lawrence Masiklat. Eternal repose, repose of the soul of the following, for the death anniversary of Sister Bibiana Flora, MIC, Carmelita Guzman, Lotgardo and Erlinda, Angelico and Estilita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Raul Jr. and Corazon, Brother Dominic Ejida SSP, Carlos Beher, Rogelio Beher, Anthony Duler, Marimi Chico Yuda, Thelma Dizon, Edna Flora and Winston Flora, Lulita Baya, Jose Morales, Sara Morales, Jan Lawrence Dagundong, Ngoang Si, Marcelina Rio, Gines and Carmen Rivera, Jose and Leon Cafe, Juan Gomaroy, Emmanuel and Roberta Gomaroy, Pastor and Hill Elpides, Pablo and Silvestra Globio, Gertrudes and Telesforo Bagas, Florencio and Winifreda Cafe, Lino and Norma Gomato, Concepcion and Alejandro Catubay, Victorino and Sosima Cafe, Maria Cecilia Puerto Liano, Tony Suatenco, Pedro Bulan, Luisa Bautista, Nati Sanxianco, Antonio Sinaon, Arturo Sinaon, Marta Consico, Dorna Sinaon, Purita Sinaon, Filomeno Sinaon Sr., eh, Jaime Cosico, and All Souls in Purgatory.
Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Soros Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa, para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, devoted benefactors ng Our Lady of Soros. Ang Misa ay alay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang mass presider ay si Reverend Father Apolinar Boy Castor Jr. SSP. Tayo po ay tumayo makisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Entrance Antiphon Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me and they breathe out violence. The Lord Jesus has called and gathered us together to celebrate this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, good morning. Good morning, Pope Father Boy. As we celebrate uh, Tuesday of Holy Week, we bring before the Lord to our Mother Mary, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, and the poor souls in purgatory, um, all the intentions we have just announced. And to this, let me add the thanksgiving of Kathleen Indita Lizardo as she celebrates uh, her birthday. Uh, there are special intentions and thanksgiving of uh, um, Carlos Ailis and Carlong Choco and the Uy and the Choco families. William Kuunjin, Carlos Gonzalez, Maria Luisa, Marianne, and Bongelo Figueroa. The recent Christ Catholic community members and their families, the Lara and Rojas families. The families of Maxima Villarreal, Briggs and Juan Escaño, Dr. Hill, Baby Villa Corte, Mon and Cecil Clemente. Mark and Ruthie Wanson and Charlie and Elsie Garcia. We continue to pray for healing and good health of the priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul in the Philippines and Macau, and um, the healing and good health of Father Doji Asuncion, Father Alan Di Soso, uh, Maxima Villareyes, Tess Valeriano, Lisa Bautista, Nestor Mercado, Remy Marine. Leonor Kent, Lani Bartosilio, Albert Aquino, Rolando Alarba, Nerisa Sarmiento, uh, Hazel Enriquez, Jimmy Laguez, Masokoro Abad, Nanay Nena Iqban, um, Dominador Guzman, Sr. Madet Guzman, Teresita de Guzman, um, Marieta Secchio, Daniel Wang, and Charles Erika. Uh, Regia Asteria Reyes, Maris Kalinap, Maias Milita Salcedo, Rosia Casin, Perla Saldajeno, Dong Joy and Julio Carlos Ross Lara, Joy de la Rosa Ando, Cheaniseto, Tess Laguesma, and Bernard Laguesma. We continue to pray for the repose of the souls of uh, the priests, brothers, sisters, and the members of the Pauline family. The uh, departed sisters of the, uh, of the Oblates of the Holy Spirit. Um, Ramon, Juanita, Manuel, Ramona, Bob and Fe, Rogelio and Carlos Pilardo Bejer, Jan Lawrence da Gundong, Erlinda Panisale Sanson, Andrea de Vera, Evelyn Reyes, Joel Alzanas, Aguirre. Uh, Virgilia uh, Tian Singh, Narcisa Yabugo, um, the deceased members of the Uyanong Choco families. Uh, 
um, Dionisio and Julie Ong, Mary Jane, Ben Guerrero, Carmelita Guzman, Ricardo Guzman, Senior Manuel Recto, Anita Aban, um, uh, Lourdes uh, Tuason, uh, uh, Lourdes Ladao Figueres, Elvira Marshall Noel Tuason, Caramilo, Camilo Laroyes, Rica Villarreyes, Ben Reyes, Amor Balvon, Teodora, Jung Sunding Lassan. Um, this is members of the Tamisan, Tabacolde, Tanalgo, Barbasa, Taasan, Moal Dimson and Motereja families, um, Marina Tapang, Rosina, Rosalina Marquez, Jumede Stanyes, Pacifica Salcedo, Torres Bautista, Melissa Medina, Luis Hernandez, and Espiritu Santos Palacita. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent the only contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, Grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, that we may marry to receive your pardon. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. By my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So Jesus dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what you are going to do, do quickly. Now, none of those who are at table realized why he, had, why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Jesus, Judas took the morsel and left at once. And it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, as, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not grow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Judas and Peter, two characters without whom the passion narrative would be lacking in drama. Both are apostles, close friends of Jesus, and both fail the Lord in the hour of need. Sa gabi ng huling hapunan, si Jesus ay nagugulumihanan. He is deeply troubled. This is not because, this is not just because of his impending arrest, passion, and death. It is also because of the knowledge that two of his friends will let him down. Ako ay ipagkakanulo ng isa sa inyo. He knows that one will betray him, selling information about him to the priests and scribes in return for 30 pieces of silver, while the other will deny him at all, uh, at, at all no, uh, will deny him knowing him at all to save himself. Bago tumilaok ang manok, makaitlo mo akong itatatua. How does Jesus react to both? Surprisingly, Jesus reacts to Judas in the same way that he reacts to Peter. Certainly, there is reproach, but no condemnation, only love. Jesus, uh, Judas does not brag about his loyalty, but from the Gospels, we can conclude that the betrayal of Judas has been planned for quite some time. 
He knows exactly what he will do. He is deliberate. Jesus gives him opportunity to change his evil plans. But Judas pushes through to the bitter end. There is a cold passion in what Judas does. We speak about murder in cold blood. We could call Judas' sin a betrayal in cold blood. At the Last Supper, Jesus offers him a morsel of bread um, that had been dipped in wine, perhaps hoping against hope till the very last minute for a change of mind, uh, telling, uh, telling Judas that, um, that uh, he, he knows what Judas is about to do. Jesus knows he has to die, but he does not have to involve a friend. When Judas betrays Jesus, when, when Judas um, um, uh, approaches him in the garden, um, when, when Judas uh, approaches Jesus in the garden, the Lord keeps his gaze on the apostle, chiding him gently with a question that must hurt as it is incredulous. Judas, do you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Peter's bragging in today's gospel sounds repulsive to us who know what happened that very night. Deep in his heart, Peter loves the Lord. He is loyal. When he brags, he will even die for Jesus. I am sure he means it at that moment. He never, he never plans to deceive Jesus. He never plans to deny his beloved master. Peter never deliberately hurts Jesus. He is just weak. And he is impulsive. He sometimes causes trouble for himself because he speaks before he thinks. The unexpected response of Jesus catches both men by surprise and elicits the same reaction, repentance. The Gospel tells us that after Jesus looks upon him, Peter weeps bitterly. Tradition even says that Peter wept so bitterly that his tears left permanent tracks on his face. Judas also repents. He returns the money and proclaims the innocence of Jesus. But the endings to their stories cannot be more different from one another. As we know, Peter, after uh, the resurrection of Jesus, is restored as the head of the apostles after having been given the chance of, um, of undoing the threefold denial with a threefold profession of love. Um, eventually, Peter becomes the head of the church. Judas, on the other hand, will forever be known as the traitor who ended his life by hanging himself on a tree. What spells the difference between these two apostles of Jesus? They start out quite similarly, and they both have weaknesses that lead each to commit a serious offense against the Lord. And despite their offenses, the Lord offers them both love and forgiveness. So why does one hang himself in despair while the other manages to find his way back? Judas and Peter recognize their sins and both repent. But Judas fails to accept the forgiveness of the Lord. Is it because he is too proud or too blind or simply too scared? We will never know, my brothers and sisters, for only God can look into the depths of the human heart. All we know is that Judas fails to accept the forgiveness that is certainly made available to him. And as a result, 
he despairs so much, he ends his life. Peter, on the other hand, waits and longs for the Lord's forgiveness. We know that he eventually receives forgiveness directly from the risen Lord. He owns up to his sin and is man enough and child enough to face the consequences. What spells the difference between them is, in the end, Peter relies on Jesus, while Judas fails to do that, relying instead on himself. And this makes Peter such a likable fellow with whom we can easily identify. He tells us that real love for Jesus always opens the gates of compassion and forgiveness. If we look into our own lives, we detect many weaknesses. We commit many sins and we distinguish between what we call mortal and venial sins. The sin of Judas was mortal because it was planned. It was deliberate. It was done with full consciousness. May God protect us from this kind of sin. A daily honest examination of conscience can help us spot sins in the making. A prolonged hatred and the resistance to forgive somebody are clear signs that a Judas sin might not be far from being committed. The same examination of conscience also makes us immediately aware of the many Peter sins committed out of weakness caused by moments of uncontrolled emotion. We beg for forgiveness knowing that every sin hurts God. But we can be sure that the Lord smiles at us and helps us to proceed on our way toward holiness and heaven. Amen. Tuesday is our devotional day for the souls in purgatory. We pray, Lord God, our beginning and end, we believe that in justice you made purgatory for those who pass into eternity before having paid their debts of sin or punishment. Through the power of intercession of the Blessed Mother, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, accept our suffrages for all who died and for all who are about to die. Heal, we pray, let your perpetual light shine upon us. Let your, let your perpetual, perpetual light shine upon us. For all to whom we have a great debt of gratitude, justice, charity, and family bonds, parents, relatives, benefactors, brothers and sisters of the Pauline family, brothers and sisters in this parish, we pray. Let, Let your, your perpetual, perpetual light shine, shine upon, upon us. us. For all who had greater responsibilities on earth, Pope and bishops, priests, religious, Christian lay leaders, civil authorities and superiors, we pray. Let, Let your, your perpetual, perpetual light shine, shine upon, upon us. us. For forgotten souls and for those who were more devoted to Mary, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, and to Saint Paul the Apostle, we pray. Let, Let your, your perpetual light shine, shine upon us. For souls who are in purgatory because of the press, motion pictures, radio, television, and social media that admitted into eternal joy, they will supplicate for our modern world. We pray. Let, Let your perpetual light shine, shine upon us. us. For all of us gifted with life that we be given a spirit of penance, purity of conscience, 
hatred for every deliberate sin, and ever greater fervor, so that in our own death we may be worthy to contemplate God forever. We pray. Let your perpetual light shine upon us. For our personal and community intentions. We pray. Let, Let your, your perpetual, perpetual light shine upon us. O God, King of glory, in the name of Jesus and to Mary, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, with intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, accept our suffering brothers and sisters to the holy light promised to Abraham and his descendants forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family. And to those you make partakers of the sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, Lord God, of God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the eyes. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection resurrection until until you come come. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, together with Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, with all the bishops and the clergy. We lift to your healing, Eliasar Manubag, Mon Velasquez, Jocelyn Barwell, Celi Bernabe, Rory Martin, Aimee Magpocro, Willie and Brenda Reyes, Bernadine Salvador. We pray for your continuing touch of healing on Kaiki Chit Robikino, Ramon Bobby Kalikdan, Matet Papalink in Jonathan Hernandez, Tess Labadan and Charina Nidwasa. Continue your grace of recovery for Charles Eriga and Rowena Eriga, Jess Figueroa Jaxales, Maximino de Sena, Reni Portillo Perla Saldejeno, Esmelita Salcedo, Atina Marie Montes, Michael Heneta, and Ed Adonis. Let your spiritual graces flow on Julio Carlos Rojas Lara, Baby Rojas, Dong and Joy Lara, Audi Quintana, Reggie Asteria Reyes, Arlet Mendoza, Mariflor Ebio, Nancy T, and Faustino Diaz. Remember your servants, Lord, especially Father Jerome Casulari, Father Pasquale Veste, Father Joseph Villina. Father Serbiliano Sinoy, Father Nicomides Riporial, Father Socrates Montialto, Nelson Lim, Dennis Tamisen, John Lawrence Dagungdung, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the deceased members of the Pauline family, the deceased members of the Oblates of the Holy Spirit sisters, Anita Aban, Carmelita Galdones Guzman, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Anthony Oson, Manuel Recto, Jorge Landoy, Gloria Landoy, Rimos Landoy, Luisa Kapinpuyan, Antonio Layag Sr., Remedio Linterna, Alan Jasper, Feliciano Marquez Sr., Rosalina Marquez, Lutgardo and Erlinda de la Peña, Medina Tapang, Pedro Magbanwa, Elsie Mantaring, Elsie Corazon, Hipolito Marcelino, Carlos and Roelio Bier, Francisco and Ipipanya Bier, Marlon Bilardo, Roberto Bandola, Rodolfo Riamelio, Robert Balderrama, and Marilo Ocampo, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, James, and John, and Andrew, and Paul, and all the Blessed Apostles, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calungsod, Blessed James Alberione, Blessed Timothy Jacquard, and Blessed Elena Guerra, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy the kingdom come, come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, he is our life and resurrection. Blessed are we who are called to receive him in this banquet of eternal life. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion Antiphon. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, especially the sick and the OFWs, join us in praying the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your mer- uh, nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. We pray to Our Lady of Sorrows, uh, the prayer of St. Bridget. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Immaculate Mother of God, you endure the martyrdom of love and grief, beholding the sufferings and sorrows of Jesus. You cooperated in our redemption by your innumerable afflictions, by offering to the Eternal Father, His only begotten Son, as a holocaust and a victim of propitiation for our sins. Thank you for the unspeakable love which led you to deprive yourself of the fruit of your womb, Jesus, true God and true man, to save us. Mother, make use of the unfailing intercession of your sorrows with the Father and the Son, that we may amend our lives and never again crucify Jesus by new sins that we persevere till death in God's grace, that we obtain these fables. Lord Jesus Christ, our Master, granted the most blessed Virgin Mary, whose most holy soul was transfixed with the sword of sorrow in the hour of your passion, Intercede for us before your throne of mercy, now and at the hour of our death. We offer you, Lord, the merits acquired by Mary, your mother, and ours, when she stood at the foot of the cross and when she held your lifeless, sacred body. Imprint, O Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, your wounds upon our hearts, that we may read sorrow and love, sorrow to endure every sorrow for you. Love to despise other loves but you. Mary, Virgin and Queen of Martyrs, accept the homage of our filial affection into your heart, pierced by so many swords. Welcome our poor souls. Receive us as companion of your sorrows at the foot of the cross. With you, O sorrowful Virgin, we gladly suffer all the trials, contradictions, and infirmities that our Lord permits for us. We offer all to you in memory of your sorrows, so that every thought of our minds and every beat of our hearts may be an act of compassion and of love for you. Blessed Mother, have pity on us. Reconcile us to your divine Son. Keep us in his grace. Assist us in our last agony, so that we may be able to meet you in heaven and sing your glories. Teach us to be partakers in the adversities of your, our Holy Mother Church and the sorrows of the Pope. Then may we also rejoice with the whole Church in the consolations of the love and peace of Christ our Lord. Mother of mercy, help of Christians, dispenser, dispenser of the divine, divine providence, providence, treasurer of all graces, remember that, that never was it heard that you left without comfort anyone who comes to you with devotion. We trust in your tender pity. Obtain for us graces for our spiritual and temporal needs. Finally, we recommend to your immaculate and sorrowful heart the conversion of sinners, the spread of the Catholic faith, the final solace of the suffering souls in purgatory. Amen. Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, Ora pro nobis, Saint Paul the Apostle, Pray for us. Blessed James Alvirione and Blessed Timothy Giacardo, Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. Ito po ang schedule ng mga gawain sa ating parokya para sa Semana Santa. Bukas po, March 27, Miyerkules Santo, 6 a.m. Mass, 5.30 p.m. Rosary and 6 p.m. Mass. 3 p.m. Assembly, pagtitipon sa OLSP, papunta sa ikalawang Via Cruces ng mga barangays, pag-aayos ng altar of repose. 
March 28, Webis Santo. 6 a.m., Christian Mass at Renewal of Priestly Vows sa Manila Cathedral. 4.30 p.m., Evening Mass of the Lord's Supper with washing of the feet at Renewal of Commitment ng mga Extraordinary Ministers of Holy Communion. 6 p.m. hanggang 12 midnight, Visita Iglesia at Prayer Vigil sa Altar of Repose. March 29, Biernes Santo. 6 a.m. Via Cruces sa Simbahan. 12, alas 12 ng Tanghali, 7 Palabras. 3.30 p.m. Veneration of the Cross. 5 p.m. Prosesyon ng Paglilibing. 16 Carosas, Care of sa mga ministry at organization ng parokya. March 30, Hol Holy Saturday, 6 a.m. Tenebre, 6 p.m. Easter Vigil, Bring Your Own Candles, sa lubong pagkatapos ng Easter Vigil. March 31, Easter Sunday, regular ang schedule ng mga misa sa umaga, 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m. Sa hapon, 4 p.m., 5.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m. May renewal of baptismal vows sa bawat misa. Para sa mga bata, may Easter egg hunt pagkatapos ng 4 p.m. mas. Sarado po ang parish office sa March 28, 29, and 30. Webes Santo hanggang Holy Saturday, Magbubukas po ang parish office sa March 31, Easter Sunday. Salamat po. Parting thought from Blessed Giacomo Alberione, founder of the Pauline family. These are very holy days, days in which one must preserve serenity, inner joy, holy joy, at the same time, a habitual recollection to interpret well all that the Church makes us feel, starting from Palm Sunday in this week of the Passion. All the priests will now give the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. We have celebrated Eucharist. Let's go in the peace, the joy, and the love of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Soros at B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Soros Parish, salamat po, God bless you. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you.
Thank you.